Hello everyone, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, we'll be discussing another amazing research from Microsoft. The research name is Florence 2. Florence 2 is nothing but it's a transformer based uh, vision foundation model. So it is a multi-model with the help of that you can perform image captioning, object detection, OCR, image segmentation and so on. That means with the help of one model, you can do multiple tasks. You can do variety of tasks. So this is one amazing research done by Microsoft. So let me show you this model. Actually, this model is already available in the hugging face. So guys, you can see this is the uh, research. Actually, this is the model. The name of the model is Florence 2. And it is having actually different, different variant model. I'll also tell you, okay, how many variant actually we are having. And the research is from Microsoft. And you can see Florence 2 is nothing but uh, Florence 2 is an advanced vision uh, foundation model that uses a prompt based approach to handle a wide range of vision uh, and vision language tasks. Florence 2 can interpret simple text prompt to perform tasks like captioning, object detection, and segmentation. Okay. So this model actually they had trained on this data called FLD uh, 5, uh, 5B dataset. So it is having actually a 5.4 billion annotation. Okay across uh, 127 million images and with the help of that actually they trained one multitasking model okay this is the idea so the model uses actually sequence to sequence architecture enables uh, it to excel in both zero shot and fine tuning settings providing to be a com competitive vision foundation model okay so they are using something called sequence to sequence architecture in this particular model and what is sequence to sequence architecture i think you know the encoder and decoder okay we call it as a sequence to sequence architecture so if you are more interested in learning about this uh, model what you can do you can follow the official research paper of this florence 2 so this is the research paper guys so advancing a unified representation for a variety of vision tasks and this research is from microsoft so in this paper you will see the architecture of this model like uh, what kinds of architecture are using and what kinds of functionality they are using inside this architecture so everything is mentioned here so if you're interested in learning so you can um, read this research paper so it will give you the clear-cut idea about this particular model okay so i'll uh, give all the link in the description you can check it out from there actually you will uh, get all the link even i will also add this hugging face link so that you can also open it and if you want to use this model I will also show you how we can download this model uh, in your Google Colab and how we can do the inference okay on top of this model uh, just give me some time I will also show you this part as well now if you want to test this model how it is working and all but before that let me show you the model variant you can see so guys you can see uh, it is having these are the variant like Florence uh, to base then Florence to large then base FT and large FT and you can see the uh, like parameter size 23 billion 77 billion again base uh, ft is having 23 billion and 77 billion okay so these are the variant is available now if you want to test this model if you want to see the inference uh like on top of the user interface so what you can do you can use this uh, hugging face actually space so this is the link of the hugging face space so here you, you can test this model so here you can upload any kinds of image let's say i have uploaded this image now let's say i want to perform something called object detection so here you can select different different tasks see now see here i already told you now it supports actually multiple tasks that means you can perform multitask here so it can perform captioning detail captioning more detail captioning object detection dense reason caption regional proposal okay ocr lots of tasks are available okay so in one model you can do these are the tasks okay these are the tasks which is not possible with any other computer vision model so for individual task, you have to train individual model. Okay, so this is one amazing research Microsoft has uh, brought brought to us. Even I'm also excited uh, with this model uh, because uh, this kinds of model is really helpful uh, for us as a developer. Because see, uh, nowadays uh, they are also integrating generative AI uh, to the, uh, to train this kinds of model because they are using prompt based approach. I think you saw that, right? So many people ask me the questions like where we can apply the generative AI. Now see. There you can apply the generative AI. So gen generative AI can be applied anywhere. Nowadays, actually, it's not about textual data. So you can use generative AI in anywhere. You can use for the let's say computer vision. You can use for the you can use for uh, reinforcement learning. Okay, anywhere you can use this uh, generative AI nowadays. Okay, everything is possible. So let's say I want to perform object detection. I'll select the object detection. Okay, if you just click uh, give uh, if you just click on submit. So it will show the results so guys if you upload the image and click on the submit you will see this kinds of output now you can see the amazing detection it has detected it has detected the door the entire car even the wheel as well and not only the detection you will also get the output text see the bounding boxes you will be able to see 
even the labels also you will be able to see so this is one amazing model they have developed okay so everything uh you will be getting as an output now here let's say if i want to test with ocr so here is one example i can open it up let's say I will, if i click here see it can also perform the ocr that means optical character recognition beautifully it has uh, detected this particular text okay now you can see now see it has also extracted those text now you can see the coordinate of the text okay everything is visible and all the text is also visible okay so that's how actually you can perform different different tasks so so here you can try with different different tasks as of now i'm not going to show you now here you can also select the model different different variant of the model so as of now i'm using large model you can also use large ft model okay that's how you can use it all right so this is the demo of this uh, florence 2 now let's open up our google collab and let's try to see how we can uh, download this model okay in our google collab and uh, with the help of this model actually how we can perform the inference okay this is the idea so for this what you can do you can simply uh, use one amazing notebook from roboflow so search for actually roboflow roboflow notebook okay so here you will get one github repository just try to open it up so if you just go below so they have already created one amazing notebook so here is the notebook guys fine tune florence 2 on the object detection uh, custom data set so let me open this notebook so here is the notebook guys so i'll just go below and first of all i have to make the setup so first of all let's connect our runtime to the gpu so here i already connected let's have one to use t4 gpu i'll select it because i'm using free google collab that's why now let me connect the notebook now see it's connected now let me check my gpu so for this you can execute this command nvidia hyphen smi so it will give you the gpu configuration you got now the first thing what we'll do is just try to download one example data from the roboflow and this is the data guys and it is available in the roboflow server you can see this is one dog example data okay so we'll try to download this data so for this i will execute this command now you have to install some package the first package actually you need called transformers why transformers because here i'm using hugging face and if you want to use hugging face hugging face model you have to install this library called transformer okay with that you need some dependency library these are the library now apart from that uh, i also need something called uh, supervision and supervision is the product of roboflow so they have developed this supervision one amazing library with the help of that you can uh, visualize your uh, let's say prediction okay you can get the detection you can visualize it okay without writing uh, like too much code so let's install all of them and in my youtube channel i already created uh, content related supervision even uh, yesterday i published another video you can see yolo wild you can also explore this one so these are the actually research are coming in the market right now very new research is coming in the market right now and i'm finding this thing useful that's why i'm showing you because see uh, you have to be self explorer always just try to see whatever research is coming in the market and try to explore okay how to use them and all okay in your development because as a developer uh, i need these are the let's say research let's say this research will help me a lot if i want to create any kinds of product let's say uh, in future i want to build one let's say ocr image captioning object detection model that time instead of let's say um, implementing from scratch what i will do i'll just try to use florence 2 because i showed you the power of florence 2 okay so that's why it's super important to do the research always over the internet okay whatever research are coming in the market right now so for this you can uh prefer one amazing website called uh roboflow okay roboflow either you can also refer one amazing website called paper space okay paper uh, sorry paper with port paper with port so here also you will see different different research are coming in the market even they they have also given the paper link even the code implementation everything is available here okay you can also refer this particular uh website even there is another website called roboflow okay roboflow so roboflow also has different different blog so they have also written the blog related uh, new new research uh, inside computer vision and all okay you can also uh, visit this particular website fine so let me get back to my notebook and now since installation is completed now let me import some libraries and all the libraries you don't need because they are also doing something called fine tuning okay on the custom data if you want to do the fine tuning that time you need this uh, pft and all but i'm not going to fine tune i'm only going to do the inference that's it now see guys uh, first of all you have to define the checkpoint of the model so here is the model guys i already showed you this is the model and you just need to copy the name and you just need to give it here okay and if you execute the code automatically your model will be downloaded from the hugging face and it will load the model even it will also load the tokenizer okay this is the idea now let me show you see it is uh, downloading the model 
from the internet now it is downloading the token as well as well now see done now we can do the inference with the pre ten model uh the florence uh, model actually we have downloaded how this model will work so here you have to give a prompt prompt means the first prompt you have to give the task the second prompt you have to give the text so here the task i want to perform called object detection od means you want to perform object detection and text that means the output text you want to get okay you want to get a object detection output that means i showed you now here so let me show you so here the output text actually we are getting this is a uh, sorry this is the actually uh, OCR so if I want to see the object detection so this is the object detection okay so this is the object detection output we are getting so that's how we can give the prompt and automatically your model will try to understand okay you want to perform object detection and the text you want to also get which is uh, in a object detection form okay this is the idea so first of all what will happen uh, with the help of this tokenizer will be uh, like processing the image then we'll pass this image to the model and model will give me the prediction okay this particular prediction we are visualizing with the help of supervision okay supervision library SB we have already imported and this will render that particular detection now let me show you if i execute this code okay example path is not defined because here i didn't execute this particular line i think so this line i didn't execute it let me execute um, my, because this is my path of the dog.jpg i think you remember so this is my dog now if i come here now if i execute it should work see beautifully you are getting the detection so dog person and backpack and you can also perform something called image captioning so this is the image captioning actually prompt so detail captions you have to give detail caption even output also you, you want to get a detail caption now again you are doing the same thing now let me execute and let me show you the captioning as well see this is the captioning you are getting so in this uh, image we can see a person riding a bag and holding a dog in the background there are building uh, poles and sky with a clouds okay now let me open the image and let me see i think here i can open see okay that means it is matching so beautifully it is doing the captioning as well now if you want to perform segmentation if you want to perform ocr you can also do it all you just need to give the prompt here okay so this thing i will leave it to you just try to export this particular um amazing model okay and all the notebook all the let's say material link i'll share in the description section so that you can check it out and if you want to also learn how to do the fine tuning and all so you can visit the roboflow tutorial so they have already given like how to fine tune that model and all so everything they have mentioned here all right so yes so this is uh all about i just wanted to let you know these kinds of research is coming in the market right now so that uh, you can also keep yourself updated with okay because many of uh, you asked me this particular question sir how you keep updated yourself okay always with the new technology so that's how i keep updated myself with the new technology i just try to do the research okay in the internet and if i get anything let's say useful i try to use it in my implementation okay this is the idea so yes this is all from this video i hope you liked it so please try to subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time